What up doc? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the three best camera settings for dental photography in 2020. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. This channel is all about the how-tos of dental marketing. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because I wanna be talking about this camera in particular and why I think you should uh, adopt it for your practice. So there are three settings that you need to know in any kind of photography you do, whether it's landscape, portrait, dental, once you learn these three controls, then you'll be able to maximize the potential of any camera that you have. So the shutter speed uh, is represented by a fraction. The larger the number gets, the more stability you're going to need. And the higher and the smaller the number gets, the less you have to hold it steady. So if it's one one thousandth of a second, you don't need to hold it as steady as you do for one one eightieth of a second, if that makes sense. So in the photography world, if I was doing, say, like sports photography, I would have to set my shutter speed to one, one at least one one thousandth of a second so I can get that uh, stop motion from the athletes. And uh, if I'm doing like a portrait of some of these things still, which is what you're going to be doing in your practice, then that number can be as low as one one eightieth of a second, okay? So that just controls the blurriness of a, of a photo. and. Depending on how shaky you are, you need to adjust that number. So the next number is the what we call aperture. It's represented by as an F, called an F-stop. And the lower this number, the less the teeth will be in focus. So if I were to take an intraoral or frontal shot, what would happen if I had this number at like uh, F 1.4, it would just get the two central incisors in focus and everything in the posterior would be blurred out. So you want that number set to as high as possible. But the last setting that you need to worry about is the ISO. So in a dental photography setting and everybody's gonna be taking photos, I usually tell them just to put this uh, setting on auto because what it basically does, it just controls how bright the image is and how dark it is. Now, if you bump this up to really high, it could also introduce grain into your image and look, make it look grainy and it's just not a good look. So I would just recommend that you set it on ISO. As you get familiar with the camera, then you can start playing with those settings. But just for now, just use the uh, ISO setting of auto. So now let's talk about the why this camera, why I chose this camera and why I tell every doctor to get one of these things. First of all, it's very cheap. It's a $540 camera. It's a mirrorless camera and it has a detachable lens, which is a good thing because then you can get like a 35 millimeter lens. So, which is the optimal range for uh, intraorals and portrait photography because it doesn't give that uh, fisheye look. If you go at 35 millimeter, everything is gonna be proportionate. I hope that makes sense. Another thing, it's a very light camera, okay? I can hold this camera and I can usually uh, hold a mouth mirror with my other camera so I don't have to have another clin clinician uh, help me out with taking photography. I can do everything on my own. Pa if I'm taking photos of a patient, they're usually holding the retractor so I don't have to worry about that and I can hold it steady. All right, there's no viewfinder on this camera so I can use this, this LCD screen here that flips all the way to the front and you can actually take selfies. And you can also do videos like that too. This becomes very handy when you're trying to uh, maneuver around the patient and you don't actually have to look inside that viewfinder to get a good shot. You can just basically hold the camera like this and say, oh yeah, I got a good shot from that angle, take the photo. Another good thing about this camera, it has a zoom right here on the right hand side. And everything that I do is in my right hand. It's, I have all the controls uh, reachable with my right hand. And that's very helpful if you're by yourself. This has a flash right above the lens. So when I'm taking uh, pictures intraorals, when I'm taking frontal shots or even portraits, the, the, the flash is right center of the, the patient. So I can actually take photos with the camera tilted like that and it can get rid of the shadows inside the mouth if I'm taking the buckles. So that's basically it. If you have any questions about this camera or what I just talked about, leave it in the comment section below. If you want a more personalized explanation of how your particular camera works in your practice, you can reach me. There'll be a link down below where you can schedule a meeting with me. I appreciate you guys watching. Please share it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.